channel i hope you're all doing well in today's video i'm going to be filming my perfume collection because 100 percent of you guys over on my instagram said you wanted to see this i've never had 100 percent vote for anything on my instagram so i really hope this video makes a lot of you guys happy i must give a disclaimer though i'm not the best at describing what things smell like so i'm going to do my best and i'm also going to put up all the notes officially as listed on the website so that you can follow along. But before I jump into all of that, I should introduce myself, of course. My name is Ifeyama and I am a Nigerian content creator living in London. I like to make videos about home, lifestyle, travel, wellness, fashion. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, make sure you check out some of my other videos. And if you like the vibe over here, consider subscribing to my channel. The first fragrance I'm going to tell you guys about today is this Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Now, this is a classic. This has been one in my collection for a few years now. I think this might be my third bottle. I have these little post-its that I'm going to use as my smelling papers so I can describe everything to you. Oh, this is definitely a nighttime fragrance. It's flowery but it also has a musk to it, and I think that's kind of like my vibe. This is what I would imagine Rihanna would smell like. Like just, it oozes sex appeal, it oozes wealth, and I've loved this fragrance for so many years. But you know when you've kind of worn something for so long, it starts to get a little bit like, okay, I wanna move on now? But I really, really like it. This opium and the Carolina Herrera fragrance that everyone wears, the good girl gone bad, I feel like they're all in a very similar family. The next fragrance is Coco Mademoiselle by Chanel. This is another long-standing favorite of mine. This is probably my OG daytime scent. I don't know why I'm trying to be fancy. I just don't want to spray everything on one hand. Oh, I love this. So this smells a lot more fresh. This smells like a bouquet of, hmm, I want to say flowers, but it doesn't smell like roses, if that makes sense. It's not an overpowering flowery scent. It also seems to have like this um, powdery feel to it. It's just so refreshing, it's so light. I feel like now that the weather is getting a bit warmer, I'm going to get a lot more use out of this. So if you just want like a daytime scent and you want to turn heads but you don't want to do too much, it's such a nice fragrance. And everyone I know that wears this is just good vibes. <laughs> I would actually put some on right now, but I don't want to confuse my nose. So this is called, I don't want to butcher this, Cymbeline or Cymbeline, and it's by the Cotswold Perfumery towards the end of last year. I went to the Cotswolds for the first time, and they had a Cotswolds Perfumery store in town, and I, of course, wanted to get something from the Cotswolds, and this I actually know how to describe. <laughs> You'd be happy to know. This smells like baby powder but better smelling than baby powder. Like Agent Provocateur back in the day, like back, back in the day, I don't even know if they still make perfume, but they had a perfume that smelled like this. It's so fresh. It's so, in my opinion, unique. And whenever I wear this, I just feel like I could go from day to night. It just has both qualities for me. It's fresh, but at the same time, it feels sensual and sexy. This was a really good buy. I don't remember it being too expensive either. So if they have a website, I'll definitely link this along with everything else down below. This was my wedding fragrance, guys. So this holds a very dear spot in my heart. This is another Tom Ford one, and it's called Solio Blanc. I love this fragrance. This is my second bottle. Oh, this is gonna take me back. <laughs> The first time I ever came across this fragrance was because Aaliyah's face mentioned it in her perfume collection video and she didn't even describe it in a way that made me want to try it, I'm not gonna lie. I remember she said that it smelled like sunscreen, but I wrote it down and I have this thing where I have a running list of perfumes that people have recommended and anytime I'm in, you know, a shopping mall, I'll try it on. So I was at the Tom Ford stand and I was trying all the other fragrances that I thought that I would like based on the way everyone had described it and nothing was hitting. And then I remembered that she had recommended this and I thought, you know what, can I try this? I sprayed this on a card and when I got home and I smelled it, I was like, oh my God, I really like this. 
This is probably one of the more sweet perfumes in my collection. To me, it smells like coconut. It smells like vanilla. Like it's got an oud undertone. It's so complex. And the thing I love the most about this fragrance is it lasts forever. Tom Ford fragrances are really good for that. I just have such positive associations with this fragrance. I wore it all throughout my wedding like season, if you want to call it that. So I think that's a really good idea for any brides to be watching this. I didn't just wear it on my wedding day. I wore all the fun activities leading up to my wedding my bridal shower on the wedding day obviously also wore it on my honeymoon when i smell this i actually think back to that time and it's so crazy how fragrance can do that for you if you're going to be in a hot country this is the perfume you want with you i know i'm going on about this a lot so let me move on i have some zara ones and let me tell you i slept on zara fragrances for the longest time i have three that i'm gonna tell you guys about i went in for ebony wood Kyra Omnique had mentioned this and I actually blind bought this just based on her recommendation and how everyone in the comments was like, oh my God, that is the best fragrance. Well, I love the packaging of Zara perfume. Their bottles, like they could teach some brands a thing or two. What I will say about Zara fragrances though is that they don't last very long. So I would almost recommend that, like, you know, when you're going to mix your perfumes, then yeah, I would recommend Zara for that. Or if you're just chilling at home and you don't want to do too much, then I like wearing the Zara fragrances. Okay, so this obviously has a wood undertone to it, hence the name. This is not a must have in your collection. I almost feel like this would be a really good fragrance for a man or a woman that likes to layer sweet and more masculine fragrances, but it's giving me wood and not very much else. I don't know why I'm not liking it so much today. I think it's because of the weather. It's not giving what it's supposed to give today. I have two other Zara fragrances. I actually have four and two broke in my suitcase on my way back from Nigeria. I got one that was meant to be a dupe for the Baccarat 540. It's actually a very good dupe. And I know that because I had bought the sample kit. It's a bit beat up now. And I tried the Baccarat 540 and the Intense. And to be honest, I think those perfumes are very overhyped. <laughs> But anyway, I liked having the deep of it because it smelled very similar to me. I think I might actually repurchase that because I didn't love the fragrance enough to justify how much it cost, but it is a nice fragrance. That's what I will say. Anyway, this isn't about Baccarat 540. It also broke alongside the one that is a good deep for YSL Libre. I don't like that. I don't like YSL Libre. I don't like the deep. I wouldn't repurchase that. But the two that survived my voyage from Nigeria, the Rose Gourmand. So I love rose fragrances. If you're looking for a really good one, Armani Privé has a really good rose fragrance. If you've been following me since my lovey Fanula days, you will know that I had that fragrance back in, I think, 2013, 2014. I really need to repurchase that because that was a fragrance that I really liked. This kind of gives me the essence of that, but this is very light and very fresh. I'm gonna get a lot more use out of this now that it's getting warmer. I can already tell. Whatever Gourmand is, I think I like it because I think that's something that's in quite a few of the fragrances that I like. I could be completely wrong, but I think so. The next thing I have is the Vibrant Leather for her. This is another Zara fragrance. This smells like leather, obviously, and it also has like a, a sweetness to it that's quite nice. My room is gonna smell like so much perfume when this is done. I really like this. I've heard that all of Zara's fragrances are dupes for more high-end ones. So if anyone knows what the original of this is meant to be, please let me know because I would actually like to get a, a better version of this. I like the juxtaposition between sweet and like a more not sour, but you know what I mean, like between masculine and feminine when it comes to perfumes. And this gives me both. I've been wearing this the most out of all my Zara fragrances, as you can see. I love this, but it doesn't last very long. That's the only thing I will say about Zara fragrances. Replica Coffee Break. This is a fragrance I bought because I, I'm obsessed with coffee. That is literally the reason why I bought this fragrance. <laughs> And it smells nothing like coffee. This fragrance is a bit disappointing. I'm not going to lie. Okay, so let me spray this. Like when you first put it on, it has this like nauseating sweetness that I don't really like. Like it almost smells like, like whipped cream. And then it has a little bit of the coffee underneath. I almost wish it was more coffee and less cream. I barely use this. I might actually put this on my Depop. I'm definitely not going to finish this and I would rather replace it with something else. So 
The description says creamy and cozy coffee. I don't think that's accurate. What I really want to buy is Jazz Club and by the fireplace. I don't know why I want to smell like a fireplace because I think that's very strange, but I honestly really, really love that perfume. Santal Blush. This was the perfume I bought for myself around Christmas last year. So when I was trying to decide between my wedding fragrance, I took note of this. I really liked this, but it was just too nighttime for what I wanted for my wedding day, so I didn't buy it. And then after my wedding, I went back and bought it. I don't know what Santal is, but all I know is this perfume just smells like something I've never smelled before. Again, it has that masculine and feminine that I quite like. It smells like a rich woman, but not in the same way the Rihanna rich woman. Like this smells like a rich older woman, like old money. A woman that was born into generational wealth that only flies first class and wears Hermes bags and only eats at the finest restaurants. And I'm tapping into that. I love this. Like it is so strong. That's the only thing about this, like you can't have more than two sprays, like it can, it's very easily overwhelming and this is something that I think I would get a lot more use out of when the weather is colder as opposed to this time of the year. My next two are actually birthday presents this year which is really really nice. So Twilly was part of my birthday present from my husband. I really liked Twilly. Twilly was another contender for a wedding fragrance. I obviously took the wedding fragrance hunt very seriously. Twilly has like a flowery, gingery smell to me almost that I really like. I think this would also be a, a good summer fragrance. This is definitely coming back into my rotation for this time of year. It just smells very ladylike, very put together, very chic, but it's not overpowering. No one wants to be that person that smells too strong in the summertime. I feel like this is a really great summertime fragrance. Bottle is so cute. It comes with a little twilly around the neck. Like what, what more could you potentially want? from an Hermes bottle. It's fresh, it's youthful, but I could even see someone older wearing this as well. If you're looking to buy a fragrance for someone and you don't know what kind of fragrances they like, I feel like this is a really safe choice. I can't imagine anyone not liking this. And I would say the same about Coco Mademoiselle. This was another birthday present, but from my mom. And it's so funny that she picked this because Miss Dior Cherie used to be one of my favorite fragrances of all time. And I'm still really confused about why they discontinued it. This does not smell like Miss Dior Cherie, unfortunately, but it has a very similar bottle, which I appreciate. This smells like straight up flowers. So if you're the kind of person that likes flowery fragrances, you'll definitely like this. And now we're coming up to my last and most recent purchase. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this. This is How Fetty by Penn Halligans. If you watch my Berlin vlog, you will know that I have a little sample kit and I have it right here from Penn Halligans that I got around Christmas time. Honestly, guys, if you're interested in a perfume brand, definitely see if they have any of these sample kits because they're the best way to try before you commit to a bottle of perfume, especially if they're more expensive. So you get all these samples like this and it was a no-brainer. How Fetty was kind of the only one that I liked, to be honest. So I got this during the Mother's Day sale, actually. So I was able to get it engraved for free. And then it came with this free little sample of the favorite from Pen Halligans as well and a hand cream. So let's start off with the favorite. Yeah, it's too fresh for me, to be honest. It's, this is not something I would ever buy or repurchase. This smells like flowers, but not in a nice way, like almost in a matronly way. So I don't think I'm gonna be wearing that, actually. Let's go back to the one that I did purchase. It's spicy, it's sensual, it's giving autumn winter, it's giving nighttime, it's giving, ugh, it's giving seductive, is actually what it's giving. Seductive, sensual, spicy. How Fetty for me, I already know it's going to be an all-time fave, like one that I purchased over and over and over again. I can already see that for myself. I love this. Can you imagine? We've come to the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all my perfumes. If you have any recommendations, please leave them down below. I already have my eye on a few that I would like to get, but I just don't need any perfume right now. Make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any of these fragrances, what you think about them. If you're married, I would love to know what your wedding day fragrance was because that was a process that I really enjoyed. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or at least check out some of my other videos before you run away. And I will see you guys in the next Next one, stay blessed, stay safe, and take care.